Hey guys, I'm Chris from Pine Top Jackson, coming to you once again from the charismatic Pacific Northwest. I'm on Guitar Safari right now, a good deal on an old Harmony Stella acoustic has got me headed up into the city, and I'd like to invite you guys to come along. I just got back from Seattle with my guitar, my new guitar. Let's go get it on the workbench and check it out. Or the uh, kitchen table, whatever. All right, so of course we noticed right away the iconic Stella tailpiece. The bridge, someone shoved all the way back. Shoved it back so far, it looks like the red from these strings transferred onto the bridge. That looks like we're missing a thumb screw here on part of the bridge. This is a Harmony Stella model H6131. This guitar is not in the best of shape. Some chips here and there, scuffs, scrapes and battle scars. Gnarly scratch right there. Uh, there's some paint splatters on it. But the body's not separating or anything. Scuffed up there. The neck joint looks to be in good shape. No separation there at the heel. Looks like we're missing a gum label there. You can see where it was. Very likely said made in Korea. I've owned a few Harmony Stellas before, and they were all made in Chicago. This one I know right away was not made in Chicago. It was made uh, overseas in Korea after the Harmony Company that we know and love dissolved in 1975. It's bought out by, or the name of the company was bought by another company that produced uh, the Harmonies in Asia. And I know right away this was made not in Chicago because of this right here, established 1892. Every harmony that was made after 1975 uh, has this established 1892 on the headstock. Stella was a brand started by the Oscar Schmidt Company in 1899. They made the Stella guitars for 40 years from 1899 to 1939. Then Stellas were made for another 35 years from 1939 to 1974 by Harmony. Later harmonies were made by the MBT International in Asia. Man, more of that purple paint or something under the bridge. Hideous. All right, let's take a better look at the sound hole. Let's use the flashlight. All right. So model H6131 Harmony. Quality handcrafted instrument. It doesn't say where it was made anywhere on the label, but I know that it was made in Korea. All right, I'm going to turn on the flash and go down to the sound hole to search for a stamp. All right, guys, we're going in. <laughs> Hair hanging everywhere. Oh, it's the for my phone to turn around. Is that more of that purple crap inside? The American-made Stellas had a stamp inside that identified the year it was made. Like this old Harmony I have, has uh, it says S72, means it was made in the spring of 1972. Uh, if it's not on the sound label, then usually it's stamped on the inside of the body. Um, I'm hoping that this one, even though it's not made in America, that they might still keep that practice and put a stamp inside the body somewhere, but uh, really I'm not seeing anything.
Now, I've owned a few Harmonies before, but oddly enough, this is the first Asian-made Harmony that's ever found its way into my collection. Now, I can find no markings to indicate when it was made. I know it was made after the Chicago-based company went out of business. So this guitar was made between 1975 and, what, like the late 80s? Certainly, this guitar can be no newer than 1990, but that's just the feel I get from it. I cannot prove it. If anyone knows a way to tell when these Asian Harmony Stellas were made, please leave a comment down below. Just a little bit more to do to clean this guitar up. Use some almond oil to condition the fretboard. We'll bring this Stella back to its former student budget level department store glory. Thanks for watching, guys.